Hi, I'm John Murphy with InfoLink Consulting. In this video, the fourth in the series, you will learn how to configure the IBM Cognos BI export node and publish your predictions and other information to Cognos BI. In our last video, we set up an ODBC data source that we'll use to write data from SPSS Modeler to our database table. Refer to video three in this series if you need to review how to set up the ODBC data source. Let's get started by going to the Export tab, selecting the IBM Cognos BI export node, and dragging it onto our stream. We'll connect the filter node immediately downstream of our golden nugget to the export node. I will right click, select connect, and click on the IBM Cognos BI export node to connect the node to the stream. The golden nugget contains the model against which we score the data to predict the attrition risk for each employee. Before we configure the export node, let's quickly examine the filter. I double click on it to preview. Basically what the filter does is it allows me to um, define the fields that I don't want to pass to cut back to Cognos BI. Uh, many of these fields were input fields that are already provided within Cognos BI, and I'm holding a few fields that I can use um, in reporting, but otherwise I'm just really exporting my predictions. I double-click on the Cognos export node to edit its settings. We will have to set up both a connection to Cognos BI and an ODBC connection before we can export our results to Cognos. The connection to Cognos BI is required to publish the package. The ODBC connection is required to write our output to the database. I click on Edit to edit our Cognos connection. The Cognos server URL is provided. If I needed to connect to a different Cognos server URL, I would provide it. This is the external dispatcher URI for the Cognos BI server where we will publish our package. I select Set Credentials, supply the namespace ID, my username, and my Cognos password. Click Save as Default. Click OK. Next, I'll select a data source. Click on the Refresh button for data sources. Pull down the data source list and select Murphy underscore test. This is the data source to SQL Server 2012 that we set up in video three. Next, I'll click on edit folder and select my folders. Click OK. I've chosen to publish this package to my folders. Now I'll give the package a name. I'm naming the package attrition underscore risk underscore SPSS. I'll click apply to apply these settings. Now I will configure the ODBC connection to the data source. Click on the data source drop down and I will select my data source. But before I do, I will show you how you would configure a new data source after you've set it up. So you click on Add a New Database Connection. You would select on that data source from the available data sources, example, MS Access Database. Uh, enter my username and password, click Connect, and then save that data source. I'm going to cancel out as my data source is already set up. I'm selecting SA at Murphy underscore test. I'll enter the table name. This is a table that I want to have created in my database. I'm 
to create table and I will click apply to apply these settings. Now I will configure the ODBC connection to my data source. I'll select the data source from the dropdown. In this case, I've set up a data source SA at Murphy test, but before I connect to that, I'm going to show you how you would set up a new database connection. Let's click on add new database connection, select one of the data sources that's been set up. I will select MS access database. And if user credentials are required for that connection, provide them, press connect, press save and that data source will be available. I'm going to cancel. I will select SA at Murphy test from the data source dropdown. I want to create a new table in this database, the database that we specified, DBO at table, dbo.table1. Create table. Click apply to apply these settings. Now I'll click run to run the Cognos BI export node. The execution feedback dialog appears. Green arrows between the nodes and the stream show the branches of the stream being executed. When the Cognos BI export node changes color to purple, SQL code generated by SPSS modeler has been pushed to the database and is being executed at the database level. When execution completes, the execution feedback dialog will close. Our SPSS modeler predictions have been written to the database and a package has been published in Cognos BI, making this data available to Cognos BI users. In this video, we published predictions from SPSS Modeler to Cognos BI. In our next video, we'll show what was written to the database and generate a report in Cognos BI using the package we published from SPSS Modeler. Thanks for watching. Thank you.